Alright guys, this is a no AC call. This is a carrier heat pump. And uh <laughs> the lady's son sitting on the front porch smoking weed when I came out the front door. <laughs> I guess he thought I was gonna go back out through the garage, but I didn't. I went out through the front door to go get my bag, and he was rolling it up. downstairs system not working so let's see where the see where the road leads it appears that the contactor is pulled in I uh, hope this ends up being a short simple one because I really uh, let's just say I drank a cup of coffee about an hour ago and it is starting to disagree with me a little bit So, contactors pulled in. We do have a load management box on this house. It is obviously working because I have a call. We're going to confirm that. This line is not wet at all. So, this thing hasn't been running for a little while. Confirm. Yep, got 26.8 volts. Contactor is pulled in. And I have zero volts coming to the unit. So I'm going to turn this one behind me off. Let's see if we can figure out what we got going on here. I usually just turn it off for the to get rid of the noise temporarily. Breakers should be in this panel. And huh. So this is gonna be for the one that's running. This one says first floor AC number one and it's off for whatever reason. fan Breakers are in the tripped position, not the off position. Yeah, I'm not sure if that breaker, when it trips, does it go all the way to the off position or not. There are a couple that do, that may be one of them. I do not know. Let's confirm my voltage real quick. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So let's see what we're getting on that capacitor. Our meter and hmm. the thirty five for the compressor is reading five. You can see that. So Looks like we're doing another capacitor change. It's two in a week. So let me go talk to the homeowner real quick, quote them the price on this capacitor, and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. I have the capacitor. Quoted the homeowner the cost on the repair. She approved. So we're going to get it fixed real quick. Should be able to reuse that old bracket because I'm coming back to the same size. Hopefully this won't take a long time. Another capacitor video guys. Once again, I'm absolutely honored. <laughs> and I make fun and I pick. I'm just happy to have the work job that pays is a job that pays whether it's a capacitor a compressor a motor a contactor you just kind of want to knock down these little ones kind of quick maximize your maximize your profit a little bit you don't want to charge for a capacitor and then spend two hours here lose all your profit so we're going to run it we're going to check the charge she did sign up with the uh, office for our annual maintenance. She has three systems on this house. So we will be coming back in about six weeks. That one's reading. I always check your new one. That one's reading 35 by 4.99. So we are good to go. But yeah, we are going to come back in about six, five to six weeks and do her maintenance on this system. So we'll come back and do the cleaning. I'm going to check the charge on it. Um, airflow with the blower running, everything inside seemed to be fine. She does need to replace the filter in the house. Um, then I'm going to put the size on here. And then the date that it was changed is July 11th 23 and we'll get this capacitor in and then we'll get it turned on real quick Sure there's no other obvious issues at least that issues that wouldn't be able to wait until we come back to do the maintenance Fan. 
make sure all these wires are snug going on snug and not loose they are let's turn it back on So we have both systems back on. I have 1.3 on my fan while ago. One point two right there. And I didn't check the fan side of this old capacitor. Let's see what it was reading. remember checking it anyway. Four point nine. But it's basically reading four point nine on both sides, arm and fan. Check our compressor real quick. Seven point five on that compressor. Throw some gauges on it. So I got it. That's it, guys. Now yeah, another capacity video. I'm part of the HVAC YouTube crowd at this point. I've made my contribution to the fan motor replacement, blower motor replacement. I've done a leak repair to the system, some capacitors, blower motor. So, a lot of sensors, troubleshooting videos. Like I said, I doing compressors and coils I'm usually with someone that's doing it I run out of a pickup truck a crew cab truck um, I haven't been in a service van since 2016 probably spoiled by now you kind of miss not having everything with you you need <coughs> but you know it is what it is uh, whether I ever get a video I mean I will at some point probably not any time in the near future doing a coil or a compressor just me from start to finish uh, I just don't do that stuff anymore I can do it perfectly fine I just don't I usually go out usually if I'm doing something like that it's gonna be a newer guy that we just hired been working about a year or so we're getting him trained up from maintenance to service <coughs> and then I'll, I'll get a compressor I'll get a coil He'll come with me to do that, and then I'll train him how to do it, show him how to do it, that kind of thing. Uh, I make him do all the heavy lifting, and then I go through all the technical with him and get him trained on it. But Anyway, guys, another capacitor video. Let's see what our refrigerant charge is real quick. about a 128 and a 312 right there I'm not going to get too invasive with this those pressures are looking good it's 72 degrees downstairs <coughs> she's had this upstairs unit pumping and she has those high vaulted cathedral ceilings downstairs with the catwalk around for the upstairs so basically all the downstairs heat rises straight upstairs anyway not very hard to keep her downstairs cool but uh 
anyway. That's where we're at. Another capacitor change. Appreciate you guys being here for it. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. We'll see what the next one brings. You guys, drink your water and stay cool out there.